Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video from Rocky D Rays, and here I am. Today I'll be teaching you how to color your SVG elements that you create, as well as as you can see over here. Let us also give our rectangle some rounded edges. So how do you do all that? All right, so let's get started. I'll guide you through the process of creating such an SVG element. I highly suggest that you open up jsfiddle.net right now instead of fiddling with your code so that you can get hands-on practical experience over here all right so <clears throat> the first essential step as you always have seen in my videos is that you create a script over here give it a script give it the link which is provided by cdnjs after that you create a division element give it an id whatever you would like to call it let us call it button All right i run it nothing is happening that's because we have not created anything yet All right the first step in javascript that you need to give the first code you need to write on is variable draw is equal to uh, as you already know invoke the svg function give the attribute the argument as button and after that you can give a size which is optional but it is recommended uh, give it about 1000 comma 200 or let us say 400 right after this let's create a rectangle so you link it back to draw again and then you write on rect you write on draw rect in which you fill in the dimensions so 300 comma 200 all right you can see that there's a good rectangle black in color over here now how do you fill this the essentially the fastest way to fill this would be to give an attribute attribute is a function attr so in which you start off with flower brackets all right after this you give an argument called fill over here and then you can fill in with any kind of color so for quick reference to colors you can head on to this amazing site that i've found it's called htmlcolorcodes.com and over here you have a nice beautiful slider which gives you hex values as well as rgb values and also hsl, HSL values if you're into design so let us pick up color over here copy the hex code and then paste it over here so you're done as you can see you have a bluish rectangle in your screen all right so what further options can you play around with well you can play around with something called fill opacity which is like which gives you the opa opaqueness or it increases transparency if you decrease the value from one so let us see what it does all right okay as you can see if i put 0 0.1 the trans uh, the transparency is too high which means that a lot of light is passing through the element which means that the color is barely visible if i increase this to 0.4 you can see that the color has increased a bit and if i put it as one we get back the original color so you can delete this in case you need you don't have to work around with this uh, apart from fill you have another add argument that you can pass which is called stroke and you can give stroke a color as well let us go with this dark color right so you can see that there is a stroke over here now how do you increase the size of the stroke so it is simple and pass another argument called stroke width and give it about 2px all right so i have given 20px in quotes over here so you can see that the size of the stroke has increased but as you can observe it is slightly weird over here on top and on the left side we actually have 
lesser sized stroke over here why is that happening that is because the stroke is not having enough space over here to fill in it is like this uh, situation in our first and second videos where our element was being cut off because our the size of our document wasn't enough it's like we if if at all the size of the document is 100 you can see that the svg element is getting cut off so once you increase the document size over here you can get the whole svg element but what about the stroke width it is going out of the picture so what you have to do is you can play with another thing which i'll show over here it is pretty simple we all know that we can uh reference to our rectangle by rect dot and followed by you can give it any kind of function so what i would like to do is let us give it x dot x 10 so let us say rect dot x 10 what this does essentially is that in the x direction in the x direction which is the horizontal direction it moves the element by 10 pixels so 10 px oops okay 10 if i give it 100 it moves it by 100 pixels similarly you can work around with this for y direction as well you give it 200 so you can see that this element now is quite below so and it is fully formed over here you can have you can look at it completely in case you don't want uh, this kind of depth you can uh, decrease it to 100 or i would recommend just going for something like 50 50 will do of course you can decrease it to the uh, efficient uh, size by your repeated text te testing all right so you can put in semicolons wherever required it's not required essentially in js fiddle but putting semicolons is a good practice so after this let us cover the last topic which is giving the rectangle rounded corners now why do you why would you want to give a rectangle rounded corners because it is basic practice in design field uh, to give a rectangle rounded corners because rounded rectangles are used as buttons you have always seen the buttons going around uh, in your websites in pop-ups everywhere they're all a lot of times they are in oval shape or rounded rectangle shapes so over here you can directly give another argument another method called radius and what this essentially does is it's not the radius of the rectangle it's the radius of the round uh, uh, the edges so if you give 20 you can see that you have nice rounded uh, edges over here so what happens essentially is that you get rounded edges with a radius of 20 so what if uh, you can also pass 30 you can also pass a second value like over here 30 pixels what this essentially does is that let me give 60 pixels so what this does is that in the y direction it gives you more rounding but in the x direction it keeps it to the 20 pixels amount so you can in decrease this to 10 and you can see that this is happening now if you shift the values around like 10 comma 60 60 comma 10 right so you can see that there is more rounding in this x direction right now and the y direction there is only a little bit of rounding so that is how you give rounded rectangles and if i clear this out it becomes a nice oval shaped almost oval shaped rounded rectangle this is how you play around with buttons you can you can play around the stroke width as well i'm sure the px is not required so this is how you deal with rectangles svg elements color them give them strokes give them stroke widths as well as round their edges all right guys so i would request you to go ahead go to js fiddle and play around with colors you can pick random colors from html color codes.com and oops and copy this down and you can fill it over here 
all right so essentially you can play around with this you can do this for a for an ellipse as well so i would recommend you guys to keep experimenting so that you would learn more about svg elements this is rocket erase signing off so i would ask you also to comment subscribe and like my videos in case you want to say something you can go ahead and say it out in the comment section give me some opinions i'm open to all kinds of opinions guys i want to just put out svg.js to the world in a way that they can learn it very easily all right thanks a lot for watching bye bye